of props. Yes, film historian Dan Lanigan joins us live to talk about Disney's prop culture. Dan, good to see you, my friend. <laughs> uh, Marty Sklar told me a crazy story Thanks one time about me on. the early days of nobody was keeping track of all these props and stuff. And he said they found a Salvador Dali painting in Walt's closet. Wow. So the fact that <laughs> it was just nuts. So how do you find the props? Yeah. How do you keep them all organized and everything? You know, uh, finding them is is difficult. Um, uh, I, uh, I I searched through um, you know all different types of uh, boards, message boards. I call up people that work on films. Uh, I do uh, you know contact uh, archives. Uh, it's a lot of legwork. It's a lot of detective work. Dan, it sounds like a lot of these pieces um, need some repair too. Like the uh, the, the Jack Skellington puppet was literally melting <laughs> actually needs to be tended to every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, sometimes uh, pieces, uh, you know, the thing about it is these artifacts, these these working art that is made for these movies, that's made for these movies, they make it for the movie. They don't make it to last. Mm -hmm. And some of the materials they use just aren't designed to stick around. So. You have to be as careful as you can, and in some cases, you have to restore these things. It's just the nature wow. of the beast. It, it's so incredible. So this show, the prop culture, you're actually reuniting some of these um, actors with these pieces. I bet that was pretty cool. For some, it's probably been years since they've seen this. It has been. It's uh, been a very emotional journey for me and some of the people that I've sat down with. Um, these these artifacts have magic to them, and and it's a reminder of of uh, you know important moment in time for these these folks, and to sit down with some of the actors and really just some of the the true artists, the true stars in the movie, you know the people that you don't see profile, the artists, the the prop makers, the sculptors, the wardrobe designers, the costume designers, you know those those people. It's it's wonderful, but yeah, it's. It's been very emotional for a lot of people, including myself. So, Dan, is there a holy grail? Is there something yeah. out there that you guys are looking for that you're dying to find? Cody might have it. Uh, well, personally, I, I can't speak for the Disney company, but personally, a piece that I would love to, to track down is one of uh, Harrison Ford's trench coats from Blade Runner. Oh. That is definitely Ooh. high on my list. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> My old Jungle Cruise hat, hat too. That's a, that's a good find. You can find that one. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Worth just as much. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Very so, thank cool. you. I can't wait to Check watch. It out. Appreciate it. Yeah.